This is my first time ever in RNC convention. It's been an amazing experience, um, wonderful group of people, similar mega rallies. Everybody is a, a kind, uh, generous people here, and it's just been a lot of fun. I'm expecting to hear a message of unity, not just for the Republican Party, but for unity from independents, Democrats, and all Americans that feel like they've been left behind by Democratic policies, particularly in our urban areas where our blacks and Hispanics are suffering greatly because their housing is getting taken by illegal immigrants, their jobs are being taken. Um, and we see that in my community as well, up in rural Wisconsin. The best thing so far has been messages of unity. Ultimately, I think it's what the country needs is a message, a conciliatory message, not just to people on this floor, but to all Americans to come together now. I think we're going to see a transformed candidate tonight. You saw it the first, uh, the first night when Donald Trump came out to sit in the stands, a look of uh, you know, being more thoughtful, reflective, almost misty-eyed. And uh, I expect tonight to see how Trump has changed from his near-death experience. Man, it's not really about hearing, it's about seeing, right? Just seeing the man alive is just a blessing from God. The word is unity. Everybody's getting back on board. Everybody's getting back on the turnip truck and it's, you know, time to get underway. Yesterday made it for me with that uh, World War II vet and the presentations just for that. I'm looking forward to him to reiterate exactly what he's been telling us since basically 2015 and recently. We've got to control the border. We've got to stop, stop any, any wars going on. And I believe it's going to be Trump that does it. The DNC is going to be an absolute bloodbath. I was in high school when 68 went down. Uh, with the DNC in Chicago. I'm really curious about how that's going to go. I think it's going to be a terrible. <laughs> Stay safe in Chicago when the DNC convention comes because there's going to be a lot of shenanigans. And I'm sorry that our, our mayor, Mayor Brandon Johnson, he doesn't take uh, uh, crime serious. Uh, public safety is a problem in Chicago.